Hello, hello, my name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we took care of Leora's little spider problem, and in return, she signed our request form for a rod of fire. Let's get that straight to Owain. I'm sure Jowen and Lily are very nervous. We don't want to, you know, make them wait any longer than they actually have to. Come on, where's the door? There we go. Okay, will you accept this, Owain? Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Here's the signed form for the Rod of Fire. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Thank you, sir. I imagine that Evelyn feels terribly guilty about telling all of these lies, but it's it's for her best friend. He needs her help. You know, she she wants to help him. She wants him to be happy. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I have the rod of fire. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom of weights. Okie doke. To the repository. I think Evelyn... She's... Without a doubt, she's very nervous about this. Yes. She's... How do I explain? On, on one hand, part of her is still like... Well, m maybe telling Irving would be a good idea, maybe, but then she she does also think that Jowen is probably right, you know, if these rumours, you know, if everyone is talking about how Jowen is a blood mage and they're not gonna believe him, you know, like, Lily's Lily will get punished and he'll be made tranquil against his will, it's... It's just a, a terrible situation, I think. Okay. Is this the door you were talking about? The Chantry calls this entrance the Victim's Door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. But how do we get past it? How do you know this? It looks just like any other door. Um, I guess maybe she studied the circle's history. I mean, she she is a, a priestess working in the circle. It makes sense that she'd know this. But how do we get past it? The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. So what must I do? Since you have the password, can't Jowen help you enter? I trust you have the password? Um... Yeah, that, that would be helpful. I trust you have the password? Yes, I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. So what must I do? Since you have the password, can't Jowen help you enter? And he wasn't suspicious of you? She's a priestess. Priestesses probably get overlooked quite a bit. You know, people just implicitly trust them. Since you have the password, can't Jowen help you enter? The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. So what must I do? First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fae. What was that? I heard something. Is that it? Can we enter now? I heard something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Okay, we're in. 
And we have another door. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. Use the rod on the locks, perhaps later. No, not number two. Why number two? You use the rod on the locks, but nothing happens. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? I don't know. Try the rod again. Maybe the rod's broken. Hmm, let's try it again. Nothing happens. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. There must be another entrance. That door there, where does it lead? I'm sorry, Jowan. Yeah, I, I think Evelyn... Literally, what did she say earlier? What if they have a magical door? And so she's just like... I called it. She's probably been looking around and she she's noticed a door at the other end of the corridor. That door there, where does it lead? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? Do we have a choice? Or we could just forget this foolishness and leave. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned. But we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Onward then. The rod will work on those locks, shouldn't it? And it might be guarded. The rod will work on those locks, shouldn't it? Yes. Let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. Yeah, Evelyn is guileless and rather naive and very innocent, but she isn't stupid. She's capable of using her eyes and being like, we can go that way. And I notice you right there. I'm not giving up. We've come too far. Good to know, Jowan. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. No, pardon? Oh, hey! Okay, first thing, um, you two, let's see, what do we have? Uh, take that, there we go. Oh, you're an archer, actually. Huh, well, we don't have a bow for you, I'm afraid, and you can have this staff. There we go. Actually, what spells does Jowan have? Ah, primal and entropy, okay, interesting mix. Yeah, I, I think at this stage, Evelyn is kind of, um, committed to this course. You know, they, they've appropriated the Rod of Fire. They've broken past the first door. They're knocking about in the repository. This... this isn't going to end well. This either ends with all of them escaping or them getting caught. Yes. Okay. Two magic, one willpower. And... Ooh. It doesn't really matter. I'll grab that, though. <laughs> I like me some lightning. Hmm. Lots of books. I wonder what's in them. Probably, uh, you know, things that were maybe a little bit too dangerous or, I don't know, maybe things that were considered, um, dangerous for the mages to know, perhaps. Like the blood magic books in Irving's office. Okay. Nothing to read. Oh, 
hello, fellas. We go. Excellent. Of course. Quick clean out. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. We will need to fight short. Oh, oh, flipping eck, a rogue sentinel who is lacking a head. There we go. You will not and win. just you. There we go. Oh, the, the three of them do seem very to make well. a, a pretty yes. good team. They're taking stuff down very quickly. No. Mm. Deep stalkers, okay. And more of them. Now you die. Mod, take it out. There we go. Wonder what they were doing here. I was gonna say if there's a you know some kind of hole in the ground, then maybe they had tunneled up. But no, maybe maybe someone bought some fertilized deep stalker eggs without knowing it, and they've just been I don't know eating rats down here for a while, something like that. Ooh. Hello. Yes. There we go. Down you go. Okay. Good stuff, guys. And yoink. Lovely. This room just seems to be full of trash. And an engraved silver bowl. Very nice. That'll be a uh, stuff for us to sell. Then again, would Lily and Jowan want us to go with them? Because, yeah, we can destroy Jowan's phylactery. Evelyn's phylactery is already gone. So her being with them would be, you know, quite dangerous. And I don't think that Evelyn would want to travel alone. She would feel much more comfortable if she was with the pair of them. That being said, I don't think that's something that Evelyn would have thought of. She would just be assuming, oh, well, I'll go off with them. Take out. There we go. Now then, if you could stop hitting me. Okay, good stuff. And, oh, you dropped something. Thank you. Very well. Nothing in here. And these appear to be cage. Oh, God, yeah, there's manacles and everything I think Evelyn would probably be thinking you know what were they keeping down here and there's there's fresh blood because we didn't kill anything in this cell hmm I think Evelyn would be hoping you know maybe it's just creatures like the deep stalkers you know no no people being held hostage. Okay, you. There we go. We did 
Uh, we we did do well, Jowen. It will be done. Oh dear, our, our inventory is rapidly filling up. And fist of yes. It will be done. We'll need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. Hmm. Very interesting. Blackened heartwood staff. Ooh. Lovely. That is much better than what we have. Nice. Very nice indeed. Hmm. Random statue. There's something odd about that statue. It's just a statue. Leave it be. I don't like it. It's creepy. I wonder who this statue is. Why would it be here? Hmm. Well, there, there must be something magical about it for it to be down here. I wonder who this statue is. Greetings. Make his breath. Did he just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime, cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. Please stop talking. Archon Valerius, what is it talking about? Uh, let's leave it alone. I also like the fact that both Jowan and Lily back off. And Evelyn is just stood there like, ooh, a talking statue. Archon Valerius? I'm not sure. The Archons were the lords of the Imperium. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said, and tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust as I foretold. A Deventa statue. Don't listen to it. The Deventa lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. How did a Deventa statue get here? It must be very old. How did they do this? Is she still alive? Lily's right. We should ignore it. Hmm. I, I think Evelyn would be very intrigued with this thing. How did a Tavinta statue get here? It must have been here for years. Look at the dust. I feel a little sorry for it. Uh, her. Weep not for me, child. Stone they made me, and stone I am, eternal and unfeeling. And I shall endure till the Maker returns to light their fires again. I think we should leave it alone. What does that mean? Do you need help? What does that mean? Ambiguous rubbish. It could mean anything. I can do it too. The sun grows dark, but lo, here comes the dawn. Stop talking to it. Please, both of you. Yes, we have much to do. Lily's right. We can't do much with it anyway. Hmm. Lily's right. Come on, Jowen. Let's go. I do think that Evelyn would have liked to have talked to uh, Eleni Zenovia a bit more, but you know what? What can it tell us? The Tavinta Imperium. The Imperium is little more than a dilapidated old slattern, crouching in the far north of Thedas, drunkenly cursing at passerby. I would, I would say passersby, but oh, passersby. I'm sorry, I completely misread that. Drunkenly cursing at passers-by to recall her faded beauty. One can see that Minrathus was once the centre of the world. The vestiges of her power and artistry yet stand. But they are buried in the layers of filth that the Imperium's decadence has accumulated over the ages. The Majocracy live in elegant stone towers, literally elevated above the stench of the slaves and peasants below. The outskirts of Minrathus are awash in a sea of refugees turned destitute by the never-ending war between the Imperium and the Kunari. And yet the Imperium survives. Whether with sword or magic, Tevinta remains a force to be reckoned with. 
Minrathas has been besieged by men, by Kunari, by Andraste herself, and never fallen. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, The Travels of a Chantry Scholar, by Brother Genitivi. Creatures, Deep Stalker. I'm pretty sure we read this in the uh, Dwarf Commoner. Yeah, I, I think we did. Giant Spider. Giant spiders tend to appear in old ruins and other places where the veil has become thin because of magical disturbances or a great number of deaths. In such places, spirits and demons pass into the world of the living and attempt to take control over living beings, spiders among them. Not all scholars accept this explanation for the presence of these beasts, however. Some claim that the thinning veil allows magic to leak from the Fade, tainting such creatures as these spiders to transform into larger and more potent creatures than they ever would have become naturally. While such spiders are known to possess powerful poisons and the ability to fling their webs at opponents in combat, studies of them have been few and the full range of their abilities are unknown. And again, let me just tag these. There we go. Wow, that old wall's about to come down any moment. Hmm. You have a strange artifact. Very well. What do you think this does? Why does the Circle keep so many Taventa artifacts in storage? It's history, Lily. And it's fascinating. I can't imagine what this does, though. I don't think th this is going to help us get to your phylactery. I think this one's merely decoration. This is just a stockpile of useless objects, Jowan. Hmm. I can't imagine what this does, though. I've seen pictures of things like this. They amplify any spell cast into them. I bet we could use this to break into the phylactery chamber. I suppose we could amplify the rod's power. I doubt we could move it to the door. Are you sure that's a good idea? I suppose we could amplify the rod's power. See where the mortar might be decaying behind that bookcase? Let's take a closer look. Yeah, I think it should be pretty easy for, you know, the three of us to move this bookcase. Yes. It should be pretty easy to get this out of the way. It looks fairly heavy to me. You'll have to help me then. All right, Jowan, move the bookcase aside. You'll have to help me then. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. Okay, everyone. Everyone stand back. We don't want anyone getting in the Rod of Fire's way. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. People didn't know that we were down here. This they the most. Chamber. It worked. How dare you interrupt me, Jowan? Um, yeah, they most certainly heard that. That sounded super loud. We must find Jowan's phylactery quickly. Let's look around then. Where would it be? It's a pity they've taken mine to Denerim. Yeah. I do think that. Evelyn would be thinking number three. She feels like Irving has betrayed her and her best friend Jowan is leaving without him. She'd really be all alone in the circle. She doesn't actually have many other friends. And to be honest, I don't think she's thinking about the long-term consequences. It's a pity they've taken mine to Denerim. Would you destroy yours too if it were here? Of course, I could escape with you. No, it wouldn't be right. There is little point in discussing that. It's not here. Of course, I could escape with you. You still can. I don't think they'd be able to catch you once you're out of here. You'd know how to evade them. You're clever, not like me. Let's just find my phylactery. Yeah, I think, um... I think at this stage, Evelyn just wants to be with her friend. That's, that's it. Irving has betrayed her trust 
one too many times. And I think that's the final straw for her. Yep, when, when are you waking up? There we go. You. No, 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 no. Come. Evelyn. Uh, there you go. No. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Stone Fist. And knock him back. There we go. Okie doke. Ooh, shock coating. Lovely. Okay, yeah, let's let's hurry and find this phylactery. Hopefully it's labelled. You see Jowan's phylactery in a corner of this case. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Then let us move on. Hmm, I expected a larger room and many more phylacteries. That certainly took a while. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Hmm, I expected a larger room and many more phylacteries. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in the Circle Tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here and we should leave. Then let us move on. The sooner we're out of here, the better. The sooner we're out of here, the better. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. Okay. Let's hurry on out. So it, it does seem that Jowan and Lily would be willing to have Evelyn tag along. Which, which is nice. It's nice that her friend won't abandon her. Maybe Evelyn could be bridesmaid at their wedding. We did it. I can't believe it. Thank you. We could never have... So what you said was true, Evelyn. This looks bad. I knew this would end bad... Badly. This would end badly. I assure you this isn't what it looks like. Oh, uh, if there was an option for silence, Evelyn would take it. I think... As much as she's... Despite what I've said about, you know, like, she doesn't trust Irving anymore. She really doesn't want to have anything to do with him. One disapproving glare, and she's just like, oh, crap. This looks bad. Gregor. An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The Initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. I am disappointed in you. You could have told me what you knew of this plan, and you didn't. You don't care for the mages. You just bow to the Chantry's every whim. Jowan, please don't make it worse. Jowan's right. You don't care for the apprentices. The first enchanter does what he can to protect us. Oh, not number two. Because I think deep down, Evelyn does think that Irving cares for the apprentices. She's just very upset with him right now. Jowan, please don't make it worse. Enough. As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the mage's prison? No. Please, no. Not there. No! I won't let you touch her! I 
I the Mega? Blood magic? How could you? You said you never- I admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, Jowan. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood magic. Which overcomes so many. I never thought him capable of such power. Oh. Evelyn is probably horrified right now. I don't think she saw Red as escape. She just heard about it after the fact. So to see Jowan push, you know, Irving and Gregor and all of those Templars over, she would have just been horrified. I imagine she probably backed up to the door and was just looking in horror. Um, he lied to me. Jowan said he wasn't a blood mage. I can't believe he just did that. I knew he was acting suspicious. It's between one and three. Um, I think she's just in disbelief. Both of her friends ended up being blood mages and she's just like, why? Jowan said he wasn't a blood mage. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Yes, Jowan destroyed his phylactery. I'm sure you'll think of something. He can't have gone far. You could still capture him. Ooh. So I'm going I'm going to go with number 3 but from Evelyn's perspective I don't think it's not so much that she doesn't realize what the Templars will do to him it's more that she's not thinking about it you know in Evelyn's mind they'll capture him bring him back to the tower and we can all just sit down and hash this out over you know some tea and biscuits and everything will be okay we don't we don't need to punish him for this well maybe a little slap on the wrist but like we don't need to make him tranquil or decapitate him or anything like that we can we can figure this out if we just use our words he can't have gone far you could still capture him believe me we will use our every resource where is the girl i i am here sir you helped a blood mage look at all he's hurt you forced Jowan's hand. Lily didn't know Jowan was a blood mage. She did it for love. Lily didn't know Jowan was a blood mage. You've been a friend, but you needn't defend me any longer. Night Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight! And you... You know why the repository exists? Some artifacts, some magics are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? Yes, this staff, and you can have it back if you like. Persuade, lie, no. Yes, this staff. It's rather stupid lying when you've got the staff on your back. Yes, this staff, and you can have it back if you like. Huh. Some honesty at last. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle. What are we to do with you? Jowan's the one you want, not me. Do what you like. I stand by my decision to help Jowan. I had no idea he was a blood mage. To be fair, if Jowan had told her, I'm a blood mage, help me escape, she would have said no. She would have gone to Irving. But again, it would have been with the logic of, we can hash this out. We can sort something out. Everything will be fine. My friend doesn't have to die. I don't think Evelyn always grasps, you know, the consequences of certain actions. She's very naive. I had no idea he was a blood mage. And you think this excuses you? You helped a blood mage escape. 
All our prevention measures for naught because of you. Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. Duncan, this mage has assisted the Malefica, and shown no lack of regard for the Circle's rules. She is a danger to all of us. It is a rare person who risks all for a friend in need. I stand by my decision. I will recruit this mage. No! I refuse to let this go unpunished! I've always hoped to prove myself as a mage. Gregor is right. I should face the consequences. If the Grey Wardens will have me, I will gladly go. But I am a mage. My place is here. Oh. I'm kind of thinking number two. Evelyn is once again in a position where her friend used blood magic to escape and she was none the wiser. And in this case, she assisted Jowan. And she she didn't know he was a blood mage, yes, but she still helped him. But for her, they would never have been able to get into the repository. And I do think she feels guilty about this, especially about Lily. Her more than anything, because she's going to have to go to a &R, which is a horrible, horrible place. Gregor is right. I should face the consequences. Hmm. Perhaps not all our lessons have been lost. She knows her place. Don't be a fool. You have assisted a Malefica. You must know what awaits you in the circle. Death, tranquility, but I haven't done anything wrong. Oh. Oh, what would they do to her? What would she think they'd... She'd probably assume tranquility. Tranquility? A waste of your gift. I offer you something more. What's he doing? Stop him! You're not taking this mage away! You know Duncan can invoke the right of conscription if he wishes. We must comply. He has greater authority than you? Why? The right of what? I, I imagine she'd know what the right of conscription is. Oh, Irving, Irving has had the most authority, you know, that Evelyn has ever encountered. You know, he has always been the top dog. Why must you comply because it's his right? Oh, it's... Number one sounds very naive. And I, I know I keep saying that Evelyn is naive, but I think she knows that if the king rocked up, he'd, he'd have more authority than Irving. I, I guess that leaves me with number two. Why? If the Grey Wardens wish to conscript someone, neither lord nor king can deny them. Then I shall let my fate be decided for me. I would prefer to go with the Wardens voluntarily. What about my punishment? Then let him invoke it. I will not leave otherwise. Oh. I, I think she can see the writing on the wall. Duncan is gonna have his due. She got that vibe from him earlier that this is a man who does not take no for an answer and he wants her to come with him. So yeah, I think she'd... If she's gonna go with him, then she'd rather him not have to use force. I would prefer to go with the Wardens voluntarily. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. A blood mage escapes and his accomplice is not only unpunished, but is rewarded by becoming a Grey Warden. Are our rules nothing? Have we lost all authority over our mages? This does not bode well, Irving. Enough. We have no more say in this matter. What lies in store for me? So am I to be a Grey Warden? Am I to leave the Circle forever? So am I to be a Grey Warden? Yes. Be proud, child. You are luckier than you know. Thank you for everything, First Enchanter. I guess there isn't much left for me here. Perhaps the Grey Wardens will appreciate my talent more. I shall be sad to leave the circle. 
I'm inclined to go with number one. Despite how upset she is with him, I you, you've got to notice that when Jowan left, Evelyn's response was to run to Irving to help him up. How is he doing? Are you okay? So she's upset with him, yes. It's not that she suddenly stopped caring. This man took very good care of her. For 10 years, he, you know, kind of had her under his wing and he taught her really well. And I don't think... It sounds odd because she was planning on running away, but I don't think she wants to leave the circle on bad terms with Irving. She does care about him. Thank you for everything, First Enchanter. Come. Your new life awaits. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. But all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Can we skip the introductions? It's been a long day. I am Evelyn, Your Majesty. I highly doubt it, but anything is possible. Um, she'd be polite to the King. I am Evelyn, Your Majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from the Circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. If I'm being honest, I think Evelyn is probably a little bit star starstruck, like, oh, by the Maker, I'm talking to the King! This is amazing! I will do my best, of course. I do not cast spells on command. I'm only recently out of my apprenticehood. I will do my best, of course. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. You're too kind, Your Majesty. We'll see about that. I couldn't care less for your welcome. You're too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters and tomorrow should be no different. I didn't realize things were going so, so well. It sounds like the blight is almost over. You sound very confident of that. Hmm. <laughs> it sounds like the blight is almost over. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet you don't sound very reassured. He didn't seem to take the Darkspawn very seriously. Perhaps this really isn't a blight after all. Yet you don't sound very reassured. 
Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Then maybe we should move quickly. What would you have him do? Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. You could if he were not such a fool. Do you think there's any danger? Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What do you need me to do? What do you mean, what ritual? A hot meal might be nice first. Hmm. Not number three. And I don't... Here's my thinking. There really isn't much point in me asking these questions. The origin has ended. You know, we're, we're not going to be continuing on with this, you know, character. But at the same time, I'm like, for the role play, she would ask questions. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going to ask them. What do you mean? What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. You know what? I don't think she'd ask why the ritual is so secret. The harrowing is very secret. So I think she'd just be kind of like, it's probably a similar kind of deal. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Okie doke, and there we are! Finally, we have completed the Mage Origin. There's a, there's a lot of people to talk to in the Mage Origin. Also, I noticed we got a Codex entry on ANR, and I I think we should read that one at least. The ANR. When the Imperium occupied the area that is present-day Ferelden, they had two sites dedicated to magical experimentation at the extreme ends of the Imperial Highway. The southern one was the fortress of Ostagar, which looked out over the Kakari Wilds. The northern one was Aenar, although the exact location is I'll read that again. Although the exact location is now a secret, known only to a handful of Templars. Whatever it was that Avinta were trying to discover at Aenar, their work was never completed. The fortress was overrun by disciples of Andraste upon hearing the news of her death. According to the legend, it was a massacre. Eerily silent, for the invaders caught the mages while all but one of them were in the Fade. The site was left structurally sound, but spiritually damaged. Possibly because of this, the Chantry chose to put it to use as a prison. Accused Maleficarum and apostates were held in the confines of Ionar. Those who have a powerful connection to the Fade, and particularly to demons, will inevitably attract something across the veil, making the guilty somewhat easier to tell from the innocent. From Of Fires, Circles and, and Templars, A History of Magic in the Chantry by Sister Patrine Chantry Scholar. There we go. That is it. That is it for the Mage Origin. Now, what do I have to say about Evelyn? Out of all of my characters, Evelyn is the one who is most devastated by Loghain's betrayal. And I don't mean angry, I mean deeply upset, distraught. I like to imagine that Evelyn, upon hearing that Loghain 
is in Ostagar. She gets so excited. She's like, oh my god, I'm I'm gonna get a chance to meet the the turn of Guaran. Oh, this is this is amazing. This is fantastic. My dreams are coming true. If you if you remember, I said earlier that in Evelyn's wildest dreams, like the best thing that could ever happen to her is that she becomes the court mage of Denerim. And that is solely because she wanted to meet Loghain. I like to imagine her sat in the library in the circle and she's reading about the the battle of, is it Riverdane? I want to say it's Riverdane where, you know, Loghain's expert strategy turns the tide on the Orlesians. And, you know, that's the, the big final battle before the Orlesians are driven out. And I like to imagine, hello, sir, you're doing all right. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I like to imagine that Evelyn, as she's reading this, she looks up at Irving and she says, do, do you think I might be able to meet? Ten Loghain one day. I want to meet like my hero and Irving saying, oh, if you work hard enough, then I'm sure you'll get to meet him. If you become the, the court appointed mage in Denerim, you know, Loghain being Anora's father, I'm sure you'd meet him at some point. And so when Loghain betrays the Grey Wardens, she is heartbroken. And for a long time, she doesn't believe that Loghain betrayed the king. She is of the opinion that, well, he must have seen that the battle was going to be a slaughter and he was, he was saving his troops. That must be it. It wasn't that he was purposefully betraying his country because why would he do that? He sacrificed so much. He's done so much. Why would he screw over Ferelden like that? He must have had a good reason. And that fight... Because, I've said this before, none of my characters let Alistair fight Loghain at the end. Simply because the vast majority of my characters are either, if you want something done right, then you do it yourself. They're highly capable. Or in Evelyn's case, it's like, he will kill this man. He will straight up kill this man. And she doesn't want to see Loghain dead. She actively does not want to see him dead, which should tell you what happens to Loghain in this, in this world. Evelyn, Evelyn journeys through Ferelden, genuinely just trying to do the best thing. She just wants to be good. And yes, her naivety and her innocence does sometimes screw her over, but she tries. She tries her hardest to do the right thing with the information available to her and i i love her so much she's my little cinnamon roll i i can't help it okay and with that the humans are done so last but not least we move on to the elves starting with the dalish origin but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated I've been Callista, thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.